Today let's explore the city of Afuna located in the Kanagawa Prefecture, Japan. In our last video we explored the canon in the heart of Afuna. Today let's just walk around the city, tour the shops and find something to eat. Make sure to join me on this adventure and subscribe so that you never miss another opportunity to travel. Getting out of the Fumi station, which depending on where you are coming from, you can get here by the Yokosuka line, the Tokaido line, the Nigishi line or the Inoshima line. The red brick building is the Afuna Plaza where you can find a few restaurants and some shops. This is the Kashio River, located about 31 miles southwest of Tokyo. The river merges with Sakai River and eventually flows into Inoshima's island Sagami Bay. Wandering inside the Fumis station, you can see how even smaller stations in Japan have so much inside, from delicious coffee shops to some of the most amazing restaurants and incredible bakeries. Most of these metro stations are built many levels underground. Let's head into this bakery and see what they have. Stocked with incredible goodies, here you can find Japanese bun cakes, cookies of different flavors like chocolate and matcha, chestnut sweets and of course their famous bean pastries. Japanese people are incredible at baking, everything comes very fresh, delicious and at a reasonable price from as low as $5 to about 30 bucks depending on what you get. My favorite part about Japanese pastries and baked goods is that they're not extremely sweet like you find in the western world. Here they do not add extreme amounts of sugar, I love that. Oh, maybe we should try. Come on, Patrick. Sounds okay. good. Itchy bun? Come on. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Do you want one? Uh, yeah. Did you want three? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Two. Uh, what? Did you want three? Yeah. Yeah, two. Uh, two. Uh, two. Uh, two. 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 What'd you get? All right, I got some macaroons for my sister. Wow. Oh, nice pack today. Yeah, wow. it's so cute. Oh, wow. That looks so good. That looks fancy, handmade. Is it? Yeah. Ah. Japanese get? macaroons okay. with French touch. Or maybe French macaroons with Japanese touch. <laughs> What'd you guys get? What'd you get? I got some cheese tarts. They're one of our favorites, so wow. it's like a um, sort of like a cheesecake. Wow, this is just amazing. Satisfied with our sweets purchase, next stop is definitely Starbucks. Now, you might think, why Starbucks? But if you haven't been to Starbucks in Japan, definitely check it out because it is simply not the same. The menu is different and the ambient atmosphere is one of the best Starbucks atmospheres I have enjoyed. Grande latte, Iced. 
Ice. Right here? Or to go? To go. Cheese tart? Yeah. yeah. This one? One. Yeah. Would you like? Oh, um, uh, down here? And down here? Ah, okay. Alright. Right. By the way, Starbucks Japan releases limited Japanese edition Starbucks mugs every year which you can only buy in store. Are you YouTuber? Yeah, I got some videos on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, you, you wanna see? Yeah. Oh, Is sure. Your cheap movie? Yeah. Oh. oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I'll put this on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You guys like crepes? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. All this incredible looking food displayed is actually fake and shows restaurants menu items available. You can also see the prices displayed. Because it was about lunchtime, we decided to go to this Japanese restaurant called Saboten, which actually translates to cactus. <laughs> <laughs> Starting with some black tea and some cabbage to fill me up, next I ordered katsudon, which is a breaded pork cutlet with egg topped on rice with cooked onions. So juicy and delicious, one of my favorite dishes here. It also comes with a cup of miso soup. Taste. It's really good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What do you think? It's really good, the bowl. Let's try the soup. Mmm, very rich. Mm -hmm. It's good miso. Afuna is a nice little city just outside Tokyo in the Kanagawa prefecture. I recommend just walking and exploring the city because you just never know what you will find here. With such a beautiful ambient atmosphere with lots of shops, bars and restaurants, there's definitely something for everyone here. I recommend trying delicious foods, sightseeing and experiencing as much of the Japanese culture as you can.
You can also ride this upside down train called Shonan Monorail. Suspended from fixed tracks, you can take it between Afuna Station all the way to Shonan and Oshima Station for a small fee. The whole trip is only 14 minutes long. The monorail is based on the Safage design and opened in 1970. Purchase tickets at the station. What do you guys think? How was the trip today? Trip was Good. great. Yeah? Yeah. Ready for another day? Yeah. Another epic travel adventure? Oh yeah. Ready for another <laughs> epic travel adventure. All right. Only on ETA. Next, let's head to the biggest Chinatown in Japan. Let's explore a little bit of Yokohama, so make sure to follow me only on the epic travel adventures. You don't want to miss it. And if you want to see more awesome videos, uh, make sure to follow, like, subscribe, and of course hit that bell down below so that you do not miss any of my new content. See you in my next video.